Hey guys, it's CarGuy11. Just a quick video. I got update 6.8, which updated the instrument cluster here, and it removed one of the changes I did, which is the power meter under the battery level. And I definitely want to add that back, so I figured I'd show you guys how to do that using Forescan. And you're going to want to have a Windows laptop, which I have an old one here. Uh, download the latest version of Forescan. You also have to apply for a license, which lasts two months. So go through that process. I will link below a thread to the Mach-E form on how to do that. Also, you will need an OBD connector. I am using the OBD Link MX Plus. I will put an Amazon link below for that unit, but that does connect to my laptop via Bluetooth. And now we are ready to connect to the car. So I have the program loaded and down here, it says connect to vehicle. I'm gonna hit that. It's connecting. And then I've already connected this vehicle to my laptop previously. So yes, I wanna um, load this selected profile. All right, and up here, it's reading all the modules. Okay, now it's asking me to save the profile, so I will. All right, now we're ready to go down to the modules. We're gonna do configuration and programming. And this is a list of all the modules in the vehicle. In this case, the one we want to change for the instrument cluster is IPC. And we want to go to module configuration. Okay, once you hit on IPC module configuration as built is the one you're going to select. You're going to hit this play button. Okay, you're going to accept this warning. All right, and now you're going to get a list of things to change. In this case, I'm using the Mach-E form, and it's telling me what to change. So for that power meter, we're looking for 720.11-02, which is right here. And we are going to change the second digit here to a two. So take the zero out and two. And of course you have to be extremely careful not to mess this up because you can brick your car. So be aware of that. And now I'm gonna hit right. And it says, do you want it to continue anyway? Yes. All right. And then you heard the chime, my instrument cluster is loading back up. And I will have to, oh, there it is. Okay, I thought I had to restart the vehicle, but yep, now it's showing. So that is how to do it. You can use this on various other functions of the car. There is one for the hands-free tailgate on 2022s. It is model and year specific, so I'm not going to go through all of them because it's just too much, but definitely check out the Mach-E form if you wanted to learn more. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.